really second because of the withdrawal, remember, of Christopher Bowman. A young man who was born in Fairbanks, Alaska, now resides in Redondo Beach, California. Quite a contrast. Scott trying to stay ahead of Daniel Duran, whose marks range from 5'4 to 5'6. The men are interesting to watch, you know, from the point of view of their enthusiasm for an almost total concentration on jumps. Very seldom do we see them spin their way very extensively. This is one of those exceptions. During all the practice sessions, you can see 900 jumps being practiced in about two spins. Yeah. Here comes a combination first to Wally, and now a triple flip. Up. Blew that Didn't one do wide it. apart. Ah, oh, that's a nice move. Scott was the bronze medalist last year in the national championships. Looks like he could make it silver this time. Running sits in into an Arabian and the final scratch spin. And overall, all right. Good ending on the program, which sort of brought up the enthusiasm following it. A downturn in enthusiasm during the last minute or so of the program. True, Scott Williams of Redondo Beach. Did he win a silver? Well, when we come back, we'll get the results of the championship and find out also who will represent the United States men at the World Championships. Successfully defended his national championship, fighting off the pain of that tendonitis in his right foot. He did what he had to do. Second place going to Scott Williams. There he is, the silver medalist this year. Big occasion for him. And the bronze medal goes to Daniel Duran. However, it appears that Daniel will not be participating in the World Championships. The committee has decided, as is their right, to select Christopher Bowman, who did not skate because of a really serious injury here. They've decided to give him a chance to recuperate because of his better record so far this year than Daniel Duran. If he recuperates, he'll be in the World Championship. If he doesn't, Daniel Duran would make it. They're the other finishers in the men's competition. This weekend, we've shown you the 